Hey guys, good morning. I'm having some mint water and also I have some uh, apricots and nectarines I'm gonna be nibbling away at this morning. So I made this mint water last night and whenever I do a mint infusion for you know several hours or overnight, then I won't crush up the leaves. I'll just drop the sprigs in ex exactly as they are. It just keeps them really nice and fresh and perky. It's almost like, you know, like the plant is still growing or something in there. They just stay super fresh um, and nice and crisp. And then I always eat the mint leaves uh, as I'm drinking the water or right after I finish it too. I'm just gonna put the tofu, the drained tofu directly in there. I'm gonna crumble it up. One thing I'm putting in this is salt. And some turmeric. I'll just give it a couple of things that look like a scramble. And then I'm also gonna cook this with it. This is a Beyond Meat plant-based sausage. Okay, so I've got uh, green pepper, black olives, and red uh, bell pepper. I'm putting that in there too. So I'm going to turn the heat down to simmer on this while I'm cooking the, brat, the sausage. Okay, I'm going to dish up Christine's uh, tofu scramble here. Give it a few scoops. And then I'm going to add a little cumin and pepper to my, to my scramble. I'm going to take out the, the bangers, we call them in the UK. And I'm not going to turn the heat off, I'm going to set those aside. Ooh. Some tortillas, flour tortilla. I'm just going to cook the tortilla right in the sausage juice. I'm going to put on some so delicious cherry. So the tortilla is bubbling up, just when it blisters, flip it over. I'm going to let it blister again, and then that's it. I'm only going to make one of these right now. That'll get there. Throw that on there. Take my scramble. Call it a breakfast burrito. Hot. Okay, and I just added avocado to mine. It's pretty Beauty good. and the beast. <laughs> hey. Tastes good though, yeah. either way. All right, guys, we're doing a matcha latte. So let me go ahead and get some ice. I'll do two cups of ice. Then we have our Trader Joe's coconut chunks. And we'll do four of those. Okay, and then dates. The softer, the better. So those are nice and caramelly. Okay, we'll do eight dates. All right, for the matcha, I'm just gonna do a little bit. It's probably like half a teaspoon or something. And then our vanilla extract. And then our vanilla almond milk. I'll just fill that up till it covers all the ice. It's that coconut that gets it really creamy and frothy. That right there is my favorite way to do a matcha latte. All right guys, I'm having some mint water and a bowl of cherries just for a snack. It's not quite lunchtime yet. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing for lunch, so we'll have to see. That's Daya Meatless Meat Lovers gluten-free pizza. It is dairy and soy free. Put it in the pan, 475, and I cook it for 20 minutes. Done. Then the skillet. Let's spread out the toppings there a little bit. Put it in. Voila, here we go. Okay, that's gonna sit for a minute. Now, okay. I'm gonna make a salad. It's gonna be delicious. Look at all these ingredients. So I got my pre-washed ingredients. I'm gonna use the food processor. I have it on the slicing setting. That just, you know, helps expedite slicing it. Get some up. So, there we go. Carrot. Cucumber. So, red cabbage. Come on, get in there. Some mushrooms. Okay. 
and that's about all that thing could handle, I think, right there. Off this. Look at that. All right. So I'm going to divide this equally between these two bowls here. This is some pre-washed ingredients. Got kale and broccoli and some, uh, what are those, snap peas. So I'll get that in there. Pre-washed super green, which is, what is in there? So it looks like spinach and uh, spinach, mizuna, and uh, chard and kale. Some big chunks of kale. <sighs> Broccoli and uh, let's see, avocado. Snap peas in there too. Do the avocado. I'm just going to cube that up. I do about one avocado, one small avocado per bowl. So I'm putting tomato on mine. I'm not putting any on Christine's, but I'm going to put uh, garbanzo beans on both. Okay, so that is my salad for lunch. And Michael's having his pizza too, so I think he's going to slice that up. But it's yeah. cool, cooling right now. Yeah, it's still cooling. Have some more avocado. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sliced palm hearts. And I'll probably end up eating this whole thing. I know that's a little bit gluttonous, but these are just so good. That, ah. Well, they're kind of like personal pan. Yeah, yeah, you know. And, uh, you know, I really, one of my favorite all-time things besides tacos is cold pizza the day after. I mean, yes. So sometimes I will eat a piece of this cold and it's just as good. There we go. Let that cool. Okay. Then I get the salad. Then you get your salad. Salad, salad. Good. Bon appetit. Okay, and for beverage, I'm having gym water and Michael's having uh, LaCroix. All right. This is a new recipe I'm going to try. So I'm going to show you the ingredients and then go over how to cook it here. So you're going to need some melty cheese, some tempeh, uh, some egg butter replacer, extra firm tofu, bagels, uh, some turmeric, liquid amino or soy sauce, liquid smoke, and a sweetener. You can use a molasses or a maple syrup, but this time I don't have any, so I'm just going to use the date syrup. And I'll show you how to cook that up. So first thing you're going to do is get a steamer. I've got some steamer water in the steamer right here. So first thing I'm going to do, cut open my tempeh, and I'm going to slice it like a sage in really thin strips. And that is tempeh, which is you can buy it at Zuki, or I think these are soybeans. So look at that. That's all I'm going to do. Slice it thin right there, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and use the whole package because I can. Save this for later. Got my uh, tempeh sliced. I'm going to put that in the steamer. I'm going to steam that up for like, uh, I don't know, a few minutes. I'm going to make the dip while the uh, tempeh is steaming. I'm going to put in some liquid smoke. Ooh, it's probably too much, but hey. And put in some soy, soy sauce, or in this case, liquid aminos brags. And put in like equal parts of each. That looks about right. And then for sweetener, a little bit of date syrup, date nectar. Ooh, okay. So I'll stir that up a little. And after about a few minutes, after the tempeh is steamed, we're going to slather that in there and fry it up. All right, let's check on the tempeh. Yeah, a little bit more. It's only been in there a couple minutes of steaming. This is, has a couple of paper towels, and after we take the tempeh out from steaming, we're going to blot dry it here. Tempeh is out on the blotter. Get, blot some of the moisture out, and I'm going to put some uh, coconut oil. No, any type of oil, high heat oil. This time I'm using avocado oil. Put some of that in there. Instead of taking the tempeh and putting it in there, I'm just going to pour it right onto there. So I'm trying to do this one-handed and let that soak in on the plate. Then I will transfer it to the pan. Round up both sides of the tempeh, and like I said, the leftover sauce, I'm just going to pour that on there and finish cooking that up. And I'm going to use the heat of the pan, it's still on. Escape. That was a bonus. Next step is prepping the tofu. All right, I have my tofu sliced up, and I am just going to blot it one more time, just to get any excess moisture out of there, so it comes through there. So I got my pan cooking here. I'm going to use this cooking spread. 
this uh, earth bottle. It tastes more buttery. And uh, put that cook the tofu in there. And the only thing I'm going to put on the tofu is turmeric. There we go. I'm going to really do it up here. All right. Patty. Got the tofu in there. I flipped it once already, so you can see it's got some of the seasoning left over from the bacon. I'm just gonna put some little turmeric on it on each patty. Okay, and then I'm just gonna slap, spread the turmeric on there. It does give it a little bit of flavor, but um, more just for the egg effect. Yeah. Okay, I've transferred the tofu. Put some of the melty cheese on here. Put that melt in there. Let that melt while I'm cooking the bagel. And I'm just going to cook my bagels. I've already split it. And I'm going to toast those on there right now. The, the bagels are done. Everything's churned off. I got my cheesy melt. I'm just going to stack that onto the bagel now. And delicious. Oh, I did put some more of the uh, butter flavor on the bagels too. All right, there it is. I got the tofu patty with the melty cheese and the bacon. And look at that. I'm going to get Chris, let me give it a shot of you tasting it. It's my first attempt at the Nami's. Bagel. It smells really good. Yeah. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Ah, uh, you know, it's, oh, it's my oh first my attempt. Oh my goodness. Look at this that. This is his very first. So, did you tell him this is made after Nami's? Nami's, yeah. Okay. I don't think wait, it's... Wait, let me look. Let me <laughs> so, I think they used uh, aoli sauce. I, I don't know how you say it properly. Oh. And I didn't make that this time, but next Chris, time... If you could smell this right now. No. Oh man, that, that looks like a really good breakfast bagel. Mm. Oh. Oh, I can tell. Man, it looks you should good. try that. Did you? So you you even toasted the bagel and everything. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. Mhm. Mm so what's the what's the secret with this one? Is there any, any particular ingredient or way to do it that you find? Really no, I it? just kind of winged it, making the. I looked at somebody else's YouTube video about how to make the uh, bacon, because it was a vegan bacon uh, with uh, tempeh. And that's the one that suggested steaming at first. It worked really well. And I kind of, <laughs> I didn't know that the liquid smoke would come out so much. So I kind of went to pour it and it gushed out. But it worked out perfect because the flavoring is right on. Okay. Um, and the only other thing I would do is uh, try to make the aoli sauce. That's one, one thing that's missing from this. But this is still good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't know if the footage is going to come out right because that fight in that oh, tripod. Oh, I know. I need a new tripod. Jeez, I, mean, I get it all perfect it and turn it on and just... I know, I know. But it lost like a couple of screws or something. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'll, I'll get a new tripod very soon and then I'll be able to film better. And <laughs> and <laughs> hmm. Remember the first time I had that at Nami's, I was like, whoa. Broke them out. The I mean, McBagel sandwich. Is that what they call it? Mm -hmm. And they only serve it, uh, so it's in Phoenix on 7th Street, and they only serve it until... 10.30. Uh, yeah, 10.30. And... All right, this is what I'm going to have for a snack. These are, they're like, well, we used to call them Eskimo sandwiches. Ice cream, sandwich. Ice cream sandwiches, but they're so soy and chocolate. I said I was only going to have one, but they're just too cute, so I had two. <laughs> Oh, they're good. They taste like a, like a regular ice cream sandwich. Yeah. Texture is exactly the same as I remember it. It's not overly sweet. Mmm. Oh, good. 